Before we go and check the CDS view with parameters, we will go to the normal ABAP view and see how parameters are handled today in normal uh, SAP system. If you go to the transaction SE11 and go to the view and hit the selection conditions, in some of the views you will see that we would be hard coding some values. So in this case this field B E T R S T R E L is hard coded to X and then S C underscore Belner is hard coded to blank. So what happens? Whenever we execute this view or whenever we try to pull information from this view, only those data which fulfills this value, the hard coded value, only those data are pulled. Let us go to SE11 and check this uh, view for real. So I am in SE11, I go to display. This is a view I know. These are the view fields and if you go to the selection conditions, you will see this. There is a hard coded and this will act as a parameters for this view. And now if I hit or execute it, it will pull information only where this is X and the SC underscore Belner is blank. So now if you want to handle this in some programs, so you usually have a selection screen in the programs. In the program when you enter F8, you usually have some select options and some parameters. What are they doing? They are also helping us to restrict the information, to restrict the data selection or to pass some input which we want to see. Now let us come to CDS with parameters. So what do the parameters do? In layman's terms, parameters affect the signature of the CDS models. They represent scalar input values that's, that must be supplied by the caller when performing data selection. You can evaluate parameter values in the logic of your CDS models to equip consumers of the CDS model with predefined control options for their data selections. You can also use parameters to enforce some restriction. How do you know whether a CDS has parameters or not? So when you see the definition, the parameter list is introduced by CDS syntax where you will have a something called with parameters. And each parameter has a name and a type specified or separated by a colon. And the type can be a normal ABAP types like um, ABAP.DATS or ABAP.CAD or it can be data element. It can be like MATNER or it can be WebLand underscore N. So you can use any type. So you will give a parameter name and then colon and then the um, data element, the data element or the ABAP types. So we will see that definition in subsequent exercises. So if you did not understand what we said till now, then probably if you read through these four lines, you will understand. To get around the need of hard-coded where clause, use CDS views with parameters. This is one of the uh, functions of parameters, not the only function. From service pack 8 in 7.4 and in 7.5, CDS views can be defined with parameters that are passed in via the ABAP program at runtime. Yes, earlier. When CDS was introduced, it did not have parameters. We could not do that. But with this service pack, and we are able to pass uh, pa parameters in the CDS. So we can have a mixture of parameters and normal where clauses, hard coded where conditions in the ABAP SQL statements. And till now, CDS cannot handle select options. So we can only handle parameters. We cannot handle select options. In order to handle select options, we still need to rely upon AMDP that is ABAP Managed Database Procedure. So this is not covered in this particular video course. If someone asks you where can we use parameters in the CDS model, then your answer can be it can be used to define the where clause in a CDS view. It can also calculate fields in the projection list of the CDS view or we can supply parameters of other data sources with the requested values. So it can act as a placeholder. Another important question, how can we access parameters? So parameters can be accessed in two ways. If you see on the right hand side, we are accessing parameters with a colon. 
colon then parameter name while in the left hand side we are accessing the same parameter with the ampersand parameters dot then the parameter name so if it is an interview question then the your answer should be within the implementation of a cds model parameters can either be accessed by a colon which prefixes the parameter name or by preceding syntax element ampersand parameters which is separated by a dot from the parameter name so these are the two ways to access the parameters and where are the parameter defines if you see in the top with parameters this is the keyword with parameters and parameter name and then this is the data element or the elementary type so same here with parameters and if we have more than one parameter then you can separate by a comma and then write the next parameter below it with this brief concepts let's let us go and do our first exercise in the next chapter.